morning. It's Friday morning, about uh, quarter after eight. It's a pretty peaceful night on the hook. Moments where we got, uh, you know, a, a couple of mild rollers, but really, I mean, super flat here. Um, just this other other power boat, so we kind of had the place to ourselves. Um, it's kind of funny. We didn't have dinner last night. We about 4 p.m. said, hey, I'm gonna take a nap for an hour or two. And I think everybody else took a nap as well. Woke up at 10.30, much later than I expected and everybody was out. So I think everyone probably got 12 hours of sleep catching up from the, the night passage that we had down here. Uh, but pretty peaceful. Pretty cool, there's a, and a cap, you can see the top, but there's a big ass uh, fog bank there on the east side of Santa Cruz Island. Our plans for today, looks like uh, we're gonna get a bunch of east wind. I don't think it's not gonna be anything uh, extreme. Um, of course, local conditions, we, we might see a little bit more. Uh, so I think our plan is, is to take advantage of the east wind and sail back to Catalina. Uh, probably do some night sailing and sail back at night uh to cat harbor so we we talked a little bit about uh uh going down to santa barbara island but i think that the east wind's not gonna work super well with that so uh that's bowen point that rock there i can't really see santa rosa from here but we'll see it as we come across but I think we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head towards the west end of Santa Cruz Island towards Forney's Cove after breakfast. You know, maybe we'll just drop a lunch hook or something. And then after that, uh, uh, later today, uh, may, maybe this evening, we'll see. We'll uh, we'll pick up and uh, we'll start heading south to Catalina. All, right. All fired up, water's pumping. Seagulls hanging out to see us off. Be ready to roll here pretty soon. Yeah, a little cool little pressure on that sucker. All right, 9.49, 9.50, depart time. That fog that was over by Anacapa has moved south of us. Hit the, uh, blew the breaker, lifting up the windlass, other than that, pretty uneventful. We were dug in, uh, Felt to me like we were dug in pretty solid there and uh, hauled up a clean anchor, which is a bonus. Whale sightings. Oh yeah, there it is. Looks like a uh, good size one, maybe a humpback. Straight in front of us, two of them. Here comes the tail. Nope, two of them. Just as we leave Coaches Prieto's Anchorage. Yeah, so two humpback whales, pretty close sighting, pretty cool. They they bugged out pretty quick. Uh, that that rock out there, so this is Santa Cruz Island, and then uh, that's Gull Island, I believe, that uh, rock with the white on it. And then in the background is Santa Rosa Island. So we're gonna go on the outside of Gull Rock and all that stuff, and then we'll come around on the west side of Santa Cruz up towards uh, Forney's. in the morning but we're gonna start cooking up lunch or dinner I've got this uh, flank steak here and conditions are flat right now but there's a small craft advisory so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and grill this stuff while we're underway while conditions are calm and then uh, and then we'll warm it up or we'll have it ready for later that's the plan 
so we got this Trader Joe's BBQ rub and seasoning with coffee and garlic. We're just gonna rub that steak right up in here and then that's gonna be a mm, pow. Okay, so here's the steak off the grill. Looks delicious. And uh, I've cut up uh, some onion and uh, red peppers. We usually have uh, habaneros and uh, jalapeno peppers, but I'm not gonna put those in. Just uh, don't wanna make it too hot and spicy if we're gonna be sailing home and you know, potentially some rougher, rougher weather later today. This is cooking with Kill Dragon right here. About a quarter afternoon, almost. See behind us, that's Santa Rosa Island. And that's Santa Cruz. So we motored around this box that we can't fish in and we've been running a couple of lines uh, outside of that box. And then as we look at the forecast, uh, I think we'll get some good sailing later today, but we're gonna go ahead and start working our way towards Catalina. 74.4 uh, nautical miles. Some kelp we just drove past. All right, live action. Just uh, saw a spout. There he is. You saw him? Oh, I see him. Probably at about one o'clock. Yeah. Two o'clock. About ten o'clock there. Another whale. I think that's four we've seen so far. All right, 3.30 update. We're 55 miles from uh, Cat Harbor right now. And this is uh, it's actually a little bit more wind than there was the last hour or so. Still seeing, seeing single digit uh, apparent coming from about 60, 75 degrees, which is okay. We've just got the sail up and uh, Expect the, the wind's gonna shift. All right, 510 update, about five minutes for official sunset. That's the best we've got, it's a little overcast. It's been cooling off a little bit. Uh, we're ready for it, we're all geared up. And we've got 45 miles to Cat Harbor. So 1035, I can, this won't show up on camera at all at all, but I can see Catalina from here, the, the landmass. So we're closing in on it and there's still no wind out here in this uh, small crowd. 11.07 p.m. update. We've been able to see Catalina Island for a while here just because of the moon. And it's kind of disappearing on us because of fog in front of us. So the question we have now is whether whether or not we're gonna be able to make approach to Cat Harbor, or whether we'll be fogged in. 10 till 1 a.m. Right on time. Anchor set, 